What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fathom man, Eric Shee Tabor. We're going to be talking through this uh, Monday NBA slate. I am not going to be around for live. It looks like Sheets won't be around for live either. It's going to be a weird day. It's a weird holiday time of year. Um, I've got stuff I've got I absolutely can't get out of, so I am unfortunately not going to be there. I probably won't be playing tonight, but I'm going to happy, happy to give my early look thoughts. Uh, not a good NBA day for me yesterday, but a good. I actually made money in football and did pretty well. But it was frustrating because I had some real chances to win everything, and that was a little bit tilting. I uh, also want to give a shout out to Rich B for winning the tournament because we love we love Rich B. He's a great guy. He's a loyal member of our. And if if somebody's going to do it, we want it to be him. And a big thank you to Sheets for uh, for a very generous offer, a very nice Christmas gift. So, we wanted to start off with that before we get into the slate. Sheets, take it away, my friend. I got a couple of things. First of all. Uh, Merry Christmas and all of that. Uh, Hanukkah ended yesterday as well. Um, just a couple of things. First of all, I, I again, I, I fired up this uh, this I want to call free roll this the, the subscriber based thing. And again, I'm, I always want to try to do stuff that's pretty community based, and I, I really like running these daily um, these daily NBA slates. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out, and again, like this is why we need someone to figure this out for me. You know. I, Maybe like figure something out where, you know, if you participate in the in the daily stuff and you win, you get points towards something or, or, or whatever it is. I'm more than happy to keep adding money to this type of stuff if it's kind of organized and done in the right way. Um, and I'm going to continue to develop that. I hope I wish Mark were, you know, I, mean? I wish someone was 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 able to like to like to put these things together like and, mm -hmm. and think of the way best way to do this. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep winging it. And I'm going to keep trying to win these um, these live sweat shows as much as possible because I do enjoy them up anyway. Um, the other thing is that I, I don't think you need me to tell you this, but I mean, we'll, we'll figure out a better way to organize this in the future. I mean, I think for this first one, I just said, you know what, if you're if you're a paid subscriber, you get access to the to the uh, to the free roll or whatever it is. I thought that implied with that would be that you don't want to just sign up to to be a subscriber for literally one day to access the one tournament and then, then not want to be a subscriber anymore. I mean, look, I, I guess I could have been more precise or whatever. I would have thought that that would be the implication right, or whatever right, right. it is, but whatever, we will be much more organized about all this in the future if, yeah. if we have to be, but whatever it is. Anyway, it was, it was really, it was, it, it was enjoyable. And listen, shout out to Rich B has been the, one of those guys been there since the beginning, I think. Um, so good on him. Good on him for winning. Um, didn't take much to beat me. I got like a hundredth in that or something like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, just continue to be on the lookout for more improvements and, you know, feel free to pop, fire up suggestions along the way about how to make this, make this more fun. And, uh, and yeah, I, I actually won a little bit on football, uh, lost a little bit on basketball and, uh, you know, the first thing it, it finally happened by the way, that that didn't happen. I've been trying, I've been messing around with the state Kings, right? Right, and right. of course, the three packages I put in that that failed for some reason, like like it had the wrong date or whatever. Like those are the three that won, so like no one was able to participate in those. Oh, so it was no. like I hate that. You know what I mean? Because I I I like to put everything out there. You know what I mean? Just in case you know something wins and somebody doesn't have it or whatever. And I guess for those of you that have been buying stuff on State Kings, there is a couple of changes I have to make because. Um, people actually they really want to get my action, even though like for the last like, week or so I haven't really been doing much. Um, as far as results go, I mean, whenever I put put everything up, it like sells out in like two seconds, and that's not exactly what I want. You know what I mean? Like, I want like, I don't want like people to like follow me, and then as soon as I put it up, like one guy like takes everything. You know, so so what I'll probably end up doing is kind of maybe increasing the amount I'm selling, and then kind of reducing the amount each person can buy or something. And I know I can do that. I just I'm just kind of lazy, um, and putting it together because again, the whole thing, the reason I'm doing the State Kings things because I just want to have fun and make it fun for everybody. I could care less whether I sell a zero percent or forty, you know, in these things. I'd rather sell zero, obviously, but I want to. But I want to just, you know, I want to make it fun for people. Um, and if it's just like one person buying it all, that's not exactly the the business mm -hmm. model that I was kind of envisioning. Right, right, right. Uh, but then again, I don't want to limit people to one percent because I want people to buy it if they if it actually means something. Like if if I win a hundred thousand, they have like one percent. Oh man, what the hell, man? That's right. bullshit. I wanted twenty. You know what I mean? So so it's got to be some kind of uh, fine line in in there. But well, well I'm, I'm working on that. Um, and I guess that's all. Well, those are all the announcements I have today. We have again, we have the NBA and we have the showdown slate. Where I guess we're not going to maybe we'll do a video on the showdown slate or whatever. Um, I don't think I can get to the video on the showdown, unfortunately, because I've got to leave after this one. That's fair enough. Um, so I, I'll put something out for the showdown slate, but projections will certainly be up for the showdown slate. They already are. Um, 
And I guess we could just go ahead and get started. Yeah, let's do it. Um, let's get into the slate. Let's pull up your screen and we'll go game by game here. Um, I first look, it looks like a pretty good slate. It's not like overwhelming in size. There's no back to backs. There's like, you know, sort of general, like we should have more information than usual. And I saying that it's easy to say when you're not going to be playing tonight. <laughs> um, but I guess, you know, I guess, I guess we, I, I don't, my overall look is, is that basically is that these guys have had days off. Nobody's played since Friday. Um, so th th there should be more of the question marks. Hopefully we would know them earlier in the day is what I would say. So maybe this video can be more useful than it would be on an ordinary day. So if there's a day to be out for live, maybe today is the day. Um, all right, let's, let's, uh, let's jump into it. Sheets. Uh, what game do you have first here? We've got the, I uh, have, ben, Brooklyn. And Cleveland. I, have, I have, I have Brooklyn and Cleveland first. And, uh, I actually have a, not about this game, but I actually have a pretty relevant basketball question about a game coming up in a little bit. So we'll, we'll okay. talk about that. Can I, can I make okay. a relevant basketball statement about this thing? Um, yeah. Good on Brooklyn. They've, they've turned it around. Uh, they, they have been one of the best teams in the NBA. They are legitimately a, a real threat now to actually be what they're supposed to be. I, having said all that, I don't trust any bit of them in terms of long-term, like that they're going to win the NBA championship or anything. It's just hard for me to picture. But they've given themselves a chance. They found an identity, and their defense has improved drastically, which makes sense considering you have four guys that are legitimate – you know, top level defensive kit players in the whole NBA. So never made sense to me why they were so awful defensively. <laughs> um, but that's which important. Guy, which, guy, which, guy, which guys are those? Just so the people that Chris are. Chris O'Neill, Ben Simmons, uh, Claxton, and Watanabe is actually a very good defender, more of a three and D thing. So maybe I exaggerated, but the, honestly, the other one is Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has been an awesome defender at times and he's very capable of being so. So those are the four for me. But uh, what do you think about this game here, Sheets? Is there anything you're, you know, it's hard for me to find much to be in love with on the uh, on either side, to be honest with you. Um, you know, for those of you that obviously don't know, I mean, I run these projections like every day and multiple times and I and I see how other sites just kind of handle it and and what guys just project well in certain spots. And, and listen, if you haven't been following along just the actual play, I, I couldn't even tell just from the way the projections work, like, Cleveland, you can't score on them apparently because every 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 player, every good fantasy player that when they play Cleveland, their projection drops like a billion percent. Okay, right. So, right. so yeah, I don't need to like look at the scoreboard to 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 to, to know that Cleveland's playing good defense, you know. And and uh, as a result, I'm, I'm it's it's funny to see I'm like scrolling down to find like Durant and and Irving like on my list, and I'm just not getting there. Um, the the top guy I have in this game is actually Donovan Mitchell, um, and and, and obviously and, and Darius Garland too. I mean, and uh, I think my my initial runs, I think I had like uh, what's his name, Evan Mobley, also. So I, I think all three of those guys I think are playable for Cleveland. So if that's the case, maybe maybe just maybe you could you can do something with the Brooklyn side and play Durant or play. And I know that this kind of flies in the face of everything you just said, right? That like Brooklyn is like better defensively now, and you have a better defensive team against a team that doesn't. They do still play defense. fast enough, though, that, that, that you can get. Right. Yeah. Um, it's it could be it could be a tough go, but I don't think this slate is particularly ripe with fireworks, you know. So so uh, I, I got no problem taking a shot at something like that. Either Mitchell with Durant, Mitchell with Irving, uh, Garland, uh, Mobley, just the regular dudes. Um, uh, what do you what do you think about this game? Yeah, this is an interesting one because so we're starting to get TJ Warren minutes up. That's one thing. Oh, here we go. Is it kind of funny that the fa my favorite plays in this game are TJ Warren and Kevin Love? Nice. Um, I really nice. actually I think Kevin Love is probably the best play in this game because without Lamar Stevens, there's extra minutes to go around. And even when Stevens has played lately, Love's minutes are back into the 20s where they were down in the you know low teens for a while. And I think you're going to see that going forward, especially when Stevens is out. Depends on matchups and situations and stuff like that. But I, I actually like Kevin Love off the bench here. Um, I think you could even make a similar argument for, for LeVert. Just these, these are early star for value things. But Kevin Love is a legitimate one who we know has a massive ceiling. And uh, I think it's kind of interesting here. But I also, I also, I also like your 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 Garland or Mitchell thing. I think those are those are two guys I would I would spend up for. I'm not getting to Kyrie and, and KD tonight. Um, I, I don't like them as much when when uh, Simmons plays just because he gets, it takes away some of their assist upside and some of their rebounds. And um, you can make a good argument for Ben. So you can make a good argument for a lot of guys in this game, but nobody who really stands out to me in an amazing way. I do think Kevin Love and TJ Warren are both sneaky 
uh, uh, whatever play sneaky plays. And I think Seth Curry, you could throw into that mix as well. Uh, Brooklyn's bench has been much better because Watanabe has been the best. He's the best three point shooter in the NBA. Uh, right now he's shooting like 58%. Um, but, uh, but overall, I, th I think this is more of a really good real life basketball game. And mostly I'm going to be, I would, I would probably just be looking at a Mitchell Garland or a love, uh, in this one. And it wouldn't surprise me if, if Jared Allen had a, had a good game against his former team here. Um, there's just a lot of, a lot of possibilities if you, if you don't have value, but, uh, Garland and Mitchell are the guys who headline for me. I would add something else in this game and just in general, um, I don't even know. I mean, yeah, it's against his former team that that too. But Kyrie back in Cleveland? No, I'm just saying that, that Karis LeBert is 4300, and every night, you know what I mean, he could get 40, even though he doesn't. Like he could. <laughs> right. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> right, um, right, right. And and I see like three games here where he's playing over 30 minutes off the bench, and, so and those unfortunately, some of those I think we had no, I think it was no Al, well, somebody was out for that those I thought, but maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong about that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I I just uh, I, 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 again, I'm looking at this slate and again. We'll we'll get to I guess some better opportunities later, but oh uh, yeah, we'll get to the late game I guess, but um. I, don't know, I just figured I'd throw Levert in. I was thinking about Kobe White earlier that that he used to be a guy that you just kind of want to play anyway. Right. Levert kind of feel Levert kind of feels that way. But again, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that that was the only thing I wanted to add here. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And and it's the right kind of game. And it's his former team. And I mean, look, the Ky Kyrie going back to Cleveland. There's th there's things here you could find some. There's a lot of narrative possibilities in this game. Um, Jared Allen against his former team for some reason they gave up on him for no reason. Also, it's a good matchup for centers in general. So. Uh, you know, there's there's things here. I just don't know. I don't know how to prioritize it yet. It's only the first one we're looking at, but should be a really good real life game at the very least. Um, for what it's worth, I, I I still like Cleveland to to win this game. Um, Clippers and Detroit. What do you got for me here, Sheets? Because I think this is a this is a spot where I think that we you know do do we do we do we maybe have to just keep playing Jade and Ivy because the 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 ceiling is high and. I honestly think that Zubac is more in play than I've thought of him in a long time, as well as Paul George. That's pretty much my guys. For, oh, and then Isaiah Stewart. Those are the, the four that stood out for me. Yeah, this is one of those, um, there are two guys that I don't play all too often. Well, that I'm really going to, that really stand out today. And one of them is Paul George. Um, uh, uh, it's not exactly the biggest, best team total in the world, but I guess Detroit just gives up a lot of fantasy points, which is why he's going to, He's projecting pretty well. Yeah, so. no Kawhi also. Oh, right. Okay. So 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 I do like him. He's gonna get owned, but uh I have as one of the top plays on the slate. So uh, I do like that. And anything else? Uh Zubach 5K, sure. But there are other there are other better there are other centers, I think. But he's one of them, you know what I mean? So uh that's that's pretty much all I have here. Yep, yep, absolutely. Um I, I, I do think this could be a could be a good one and you know, all, all of the Detroit guys, it's it's hard for all of them to get there, but Hayes, Ivy, Stewart, Duran, Bogdanovich, all the starters basically are are firmly in play. I think that my favorites would be the Ivy, uh, probably Stewart because it doesn't take up the center spot, but I, I don't mind Duran um, and I don't mind Zubac at all um, in this spot. So that, that that's mostly what, what I'm looking at. Look out for John Wall. I think he's supposed to be in tonight, but if he's out, uh, I think you could include Reggie Jackson in your mix. And I, and I agree that Paul George is a, is a very strong up high upside play with a pretty good floor. So I don't mind that at all. All right. Seven 30 games. Um, we've got the, what do you have next? The, sorry, it's a different, I've got to look at a different screen here. Cause I'm mobile. I have Minnesota against Miami. Oh, yeah, Minnesota. yeah. Minnesota, Miami. That's right. Sorry. Go ahead. Sheets. Um, I don't know. I mean, go bear seven K again, another center that's uh just kind of okay, I guess, to me. Um, Miami games are, again, where fantasy points go to, go to die. I mean, Bam, I guess, not the worst. But I don't know. This game could be probably a toss -off, uh, cross off for me. Yeah, it feels like it. Um, I just want to go back, though, that even with – like, I don't like if, – if, if Kyle Anderson is still out, which I think this is the time where they would probably try to bring him back because he had a little bit of a break um, – if he's still out, especially, I think you can go back to Edwards just any time. I mean, you, you get a nice little 9K guy builds like 
the 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 Mitchell Edwards Paul George group or all of those guys I have is very very interesting and um obviously tough matchup for 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 what's his name for Edwards but I don't it's not that he's not priced right it's just that when he gets there he gets there with 60 plus and he can do it in almost any matchup um because they run they run so many screen and screen and rolls that it's not like even if Jimmy Butler's guarding him that he's going to be stuck to him every time you know what I mean yeah. Um, and if they're running screen and rolls with Gobert out at the top, that it does leave the lane open. And I, I, I just want Edwards attacking. So he's my favorite play in this game. And, uh, everybody else is sort of, uh, just there. <laughs> I don't really have much interest in them. So the next game is really interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, Chicago against Houston. We have the same situation, uh, as we did uh, the other day that with, uh, Alex Caruso being out and nobody's price really adjusting um that much uh some new still 4k drag if you felt like doing that is 3200 uh kobe Wright, if you feel like doing that is 4100 um as a matter of fact like on a point per dollar basis uh one two three four five five of the top seven guys on the slate for me are chicago guys uh i mentioned a some new i mentioned um uh whatchamacallit uh Dragic, patrick williams as well vooch i meant vooch i mentioned i believe uh, what's his name? DeRozan's always a good play, but the guy I want to talk about is Andre Drummond. So this is what I wanted to say about this. So when I first ran my projections, I saw that he was like the top point per dollar play on the slate, right? At, you know, whatever it is. And I, I listen, I know what that means. You know, people, you know, you, you want 16 minutes out of him. You know, he's a good point, you know, point per minute guy. Get Maybe he'll get you 20, 20 fantasy points or maybe you get lucky and do a little better. I actually played a little of him in his last game and, and I saw what could happen. You know what I mean? Like he only played like, 14, 15 minutes, but he got a bunch of rebounds, you know, whatever. And you can, that, that can happen pretty quickly. And then, so I was saying, okay, as, as I was building some kind of dummy lineups, because again, I'm going to be out a little later too. What I was getting when I was doing Saber Sim was, oh, I was getting like some Booch and, and, and Drummond together. I'm like, oh, obviously I can't do that. It's like kind of a Saber Sim glitch. So I went back and I did a rule that don't put uh, Drummond and Booch in the same lineup and to see what would come up. Right. So I'm like, okay. So I did that. And then I was I was researching, I was watching something else, and then something that was really, really bizarre, they actually played like 10 minutes together in like the last game, which was really strange. You know, I don't know whether that was because they were playing the Nets or, or you know, or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know what that was all about, but but it, it's it's I don't know, it's an interesting, interesting thing to consider of what happens if in fact that is the case, or if it's an outlier. So, first of all, if it is the case. Maybe that just means that Vooch is that much better of a play. Um, uh, uh, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of an interesting observation. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, so, uh, and, uh, and as far as Houston goes, and you can address that in a minute, the usual, the usual guys, you know, uh, I, I personally would rather not play Eric Gordon if he's playing. Um if he's out, I imagine KJ Martin is going to be a good play again. Uh, Eason, I think his price got moved up a little bit, so not so much. Uh, and Sangoon, I suppose, but at a, again, a kind of a tough center position. Yep. Um, the, the Bulls, in, in, whenever they have a good matchup, it's pretty much a guarantee that one of DeRozan, Levine, or Vooch will smash. <laughs> like it just that's my that's where I where I start here. Um, I also I I think I think that then then you mix them with one of the Disonmu White and Dragic. I I would actually prefer if I'm playing White, I'm okay with skipping the rest of them because that means you can sort of count on him. maybe he gets hot or something like that. But I actually think that if I had to if I had to pick one of them, Levine, it, the matchup suits Levine pretty well. So like Levine Disonmu or Levine I'm sorry or Disonmu Vooch makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, my feeling was with Drummond. I, I mean, if you look at it. For six games now, he's been projected as the like the early on projection of the of like the best point per dollar, one of the best point per dollar plays. Yeah. He hasn't gotten there at all uh, in any of those games. He's averaging in those games nine fantasy points per game. He didn't even play one of the games. He was a DNPCD. Um, so I I'm I'm much lower on the Drummond seven general now. Of course, if there was a if there was a kind of a matchup or if there was a blowout of any kind, Drummond might put up thirty five here. So like it does scare me to to say no to Drummond, but I would be saying no to Drummond. Um, I also like on the other side, I like Shangun and I like one of Green or Porter. I think this game is very stackable. Um, not as stackable as the game we're about to talk about, but it's it's very, very stackable. And I think it's, uh, 
if you combine the uh, this game with the next one, which is in Indy and, and New Orleans, I think you could be on to something. So I would be trying to get overweight on most of these guys if you're multi-entering and if you're going to just look for act actual priorities. I think, again, the one of Levine, DeRozan, Vooch, I prefer Levine and DeRozan, and, and Vooch, sorry, Levine, Levine and Vooch in this matchup, but I'm fine with DeRozan. And I like Desonmu. I like I like either Shangun. I would use Shangun, one of Shangun, Porter, or Green. And then I'm very open to Jabari Smith, who I still think is uh, is going to start, you know, maybe more, maybe it's a little later in the season that he starts getting going, but I think you're going to start seeing bigger and bigger games. He did just put up 45 the other day against the tough Dallas team. So I am uh, I think this is a really good game to, to try to target. Uh, probably my second favorite on the slate. All right. All right, you want to start off the next one because we just got news. I'm just going to give you a heads up. We just got news that Herb Jones is out and Zion has been downgraded to doubtful. <laughs> so yeah. that means I think we want to uh, to get pieces of this. What, do you, what are you looking at here, Sheets? Yeah, so what I was looking at <laughs> is not what I'm looking at anymore. So uh, <laughs> what I was looking at was that uh, Zion would be a, probably a pretty good play today. Um, but if he's not going to play, that makes him a little less likely to be a really good play. So. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> right. So uh, I guess McCollum once again. Yep. Going to be a good play. I guess uh, once again, Valanchunas is going to be a good play. I think once again, we're waiting to see what happens with Larry Nance, see if he plays. Once again, I might or might not decide to go to Juan Hernan Gomez if, in fact, Nance is out. Or who knows? I might decide to go to Jackson Hayes, who got the 28 minutes. He played uh, great, and they and he got all the run because of it. Yep. Um, so if Nance is out, I would actually, uh, I would, I would play, I would really play both. I would play some of uh, some of uh, of Hayes in case he plays well, or in case, or or some of Hernan Gomez in case he plays well. Um, so uh, that's what I would uh, suggest from New Orleans side. Uh, the other guys that showed out for New Orleans. Uh, in the absence of, 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 of Zion was Trey Murphy, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I don't know about 5k, but he played really well. Marshall had a good game. Um, so all these guys are going to, are going to be in play. If we have both, we'd say Herb Jones is downgraded. Yeah. Herb, Herb well. Jones is out. <clears throat> Herb Jones is out and Zion will be out. So as of what, as of right now, he's out. I mean, that's um, what they said. I mean, anyway. the safest two plays are going to be McCollum and, 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 and Valanciunas, I suppose. Um, so, and then you could probably play a couple of more. <laughs> so that's, that's, that that's the new Orleans side, uh, that that's, that's done literally on the fly. Um, on the Indiana side, I mean, the MB Habes, you know, the, the even hard at 4,600, I guess, uh, Turner is, is, is fine. I'm just looking at values for a second. Yeah. But I mean, Halliburton, what do you, we have 10 threes the other day. Let's Only see. 10. Yeah, just 10 threes. I mean, I'm not counting on that, but, you know, he's going to score like 50 every game. I don't know. Uh, so play a whole bunch in New Orleans. Uh, with New Orleans, those guys out, probably spread comes down to pick them at the at worst. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a game you want to deal with. So Halliburton, I wouldn't play him and Nebar together. I don't, I'm, I guess not. Um, I don't know. Uh, what, what do you think of this? This is This was literally on the fly. Yeah, no, no, I, I hear you because we're, we're just getting news in. That's what happens sometimes when we do these mornings things, we get the news. But it's nice to, like I said, we, we should get the news earlier today and we, we're kind of getting it. Yeah, This is this game, I, I love CJ. I love Trey Murphy. Uh, I think you're playing one of the bigs, depending on if Nance is in. Uh, if Nance is out, I think you're playing one of Valanchunas, uh, uh, Hernan Gomez, or Hayes. I really do. And and it, the problem is Hayes just mucked it up by by having this, this show out game on the back-to-back my guess is unless he plays really well, that's not going to happen again, but it's always a possibility. And uh, these guys are good point per minute guys in, in a, in a matchup with a, you know, in a blistering pace, this is a, you know, the second highest total on the slate. It's a really, really interesting game. And I, so McCollum, one of the two bigs, Trey Murphy, I think you could even play all these guys. And then I, then one of Dyson Daniels, I probably would pick Dyson Daniels over, uh, Alvar, over uh, Najee Marshall because of the pricing. And I don't think I'm going to get to Alvarado, but that would I wouldn't get to Alvarado, but that, that's you know the other one. But I think you could play up to four Pelicans, maybe maybe three is the sweet spot. Um, and I think Halliburton on the other side is a really really strong play. Um, 
I I think healed in this matchup is is definitely in consideration, but it's not like my favorite. But that's and and then and then you could include some Miles Turners in your build, but uh, I do think this is the game you want to stack. Mostly, unfortunately for Indiana, I only have the the Halliburton as the priority. But if you wanted to to, to play another guy, I think playing Turner would Turner or Healed probably not Healed and Halliburton together. It's not the ideal situation, but maybe Halliburton and Turner, um, or Halliburton and Neesmith. Uh, but I I do really want to get exposure to this game just because I think it could it could really go off and. And because of those guys being out, I think the game should stay fairly, you know, fairly close. So I'm kind of into just just sort of waiting and seeing that we talked about some plays early in the day that I kind of like, but nothing that I feel like you have to have that trumps this. Like even the Kevin Love thing that I mentioned before and all the other guys, they're sort of going to take a back seat to the value in this game, in my opinion. So that's what I that's the way I would treat it. And I think you want to get like three minimum of three players combined in this game. And probably I'm going to be I would be closer to four or five. And this would be my my target tonight. Yeah, well, we did just get news that Bam is out. <laughs> um, and by the way, that all that all that all, that all, I, all I, just, I just said is that if Zion is out, he's still he's still technically questionable, but he's doubtful, um, which enough. usually mean, almost always means out. Um, but if it, if it doesn't, then it, then that changes things. Uh, but it, but if if he, if he is in fact out, I think that you really want to get this game. And then with Bam out, I'm just going to jump over to that game really quick. Uh, it's basically going to be who starts for them at center that I would have some interest in, unless it's Jovic. Jovic, I would have a little bit of interest in, but not not a ton. And I'm and I'm curious who they who they're going to start here because you have you're playing against Gobert, so you're they're going to play a big, um, but so they're not going to get away with the Highsmith thing starting. I don't think would it be Orlando Robinson here? Maybe. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just that I would be, I would be curious who Miami's fifth starter is. And you'll probably have that information early enough to make that decision. Um, but I, you're, you, again, they still have their other bodies healthy. So you're not trying to, to get usage. You're just trying to get the, the big, who's going to get the rebounds, who's maybe minimum cost, like an Orlando Robinson. Highsmith even has got priced up a little bit. So I don't even know how much I love that, but it might be Robinson or Jovic tonight. Um, one of those two would be interesting for me. Well, I have a couple of other announcements before we, uh, before I, before I deal with. It. Actually, I'll do, I'll do it after this late. All right, so, so Utah, San Antonio for me, is that what we're on now? Yep, yep. Um, yeah, I think go back to Kessler. Um, he's one of the one of the good center plays. I mean, we talked about mm-hmm. Booch. I mentioned Zubac. We'll we'll get to Nurkic in a second, but but uh. Kessler 5400 pretty reasonable as well and people still don't really own him all too often um so I, I like that Conley looks reasonable 5k just doesn't never quite the GPP type of play for me um San Antonio you, you got Sohan again um uh Bobby was on him I think when he had his career high a couple of days ago um he 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 was you know he's he's got a lot of talent so I think he's probably my favorite san antonio guy i feel like i should have more with a 234 total um but not really getting it um that's pretty much all i have yeah if everybody's in for the spurs it's sohan only for me um i don't mind if people want to take shots on vassal it's a good matchup and i do like walker kessler um i'm i'm it's interesting though because if we're going to play kessler at low ownership we should kind of think about the duran thing because duran is 5200 kessler's 54 I think Duran has a much higher floor tonight because of the back-to-back. I'm not going to give any credit to that. Um, and I think that they both have decent ceilings, but uh, it's kind of, it, it's a toss up for me who I'd rather play between Kessler and Duran, um, you know, in that Detroit game. And it's interesting that Kessler's looking like he's going to be more popular based on sort of like a one game sample. <laughs> you know what I mean? If it was, if it was two games ago, Duran would be the obvious. I mean, Duran was getting 35% ownership. Kessler was getting 2% ownership. And Kessler was cheaper. And all of a sudden now Kessler's more expensive and he's getting more ownership projected than than the other side. Even neither one with significant ownership, but just kind of funny to look at it like that. All of the other guys look just fine to me. And I think it's this is a game that it's while it's high and could be high and tight. I think there's also a chance that Utah does blow him out. It's always possible with San Antonio. And I, I'm just going to probably uh, just put play Sohan from this game. By the end of the All day. right. So I guess there's nothing else to talk about. There's no other games after the eight o'clock. So I guess we could just go on and wrap it up. And oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> two out two hours after all of it. If you didn't like any of that, 
Um, you have freaking must see TV in freaking Portland. Um, I, all I'll say is this: like, if you don't have a listen, if you if you play more than one lineup, or even if you play one, but if you play more than one lineup and you don't have a lineup with with Lamelo and Lillard in it, I think you're doing it wrong. Um, I I I, I want this. It's a two million point total with two guys who could put up billions of fantasy points, and neither of them really like to guard anybody. Um, I like that. Uh, Nurkic is looks pretty ugly in the game logs, um, uh, but I might have to try that. Josh Hart, who somebody I don't play too often, um, I have to I have to include him in the mix. And uh, yeah, I mean whatever score you have it. At nine thirty from your early games, don't cut. Uh, don't cut your money. Going to be relevant. It's not going to be remotely relevant. I don't think. Well, it could, be, it could end up being relevant, but you certainly shouldn't start spending the money yet. <laughs> at, least, yeah. at least, at least, at least for a little while. Um, and especially now that Bam's out, you you get you'll get like Miami value open up. You know what I mean? Like there's there's and and with 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 Zion and the other guy out, you'll have value open up. So it will be not the slightest bit of a problem to pay for both Lamelo and Lillard if that's what you want to do. Um, so uh yeah That's my it. venting for, for for Friday is gonna start really quick because I use I use as as placeholders Josh Hart and and PJ Washington and then I basically subbed off of them in almost in basically all of my lineups and they and they were in the same lineups in a lot of them and they both you know Washington put up 43 45 I mean against the Lakers and uh Josh Hart put up 38. I would have been so much better off. I just leave those guys in. I have a really good Friday. Instead, I ended up mixing all things around and because of news. So sometimes the late the late switching can hurt you. Uh, but I, I I do like the game. I don't at these prices. I think I would rather play the nine k or the the McCollum eighty six hundred, the 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 Halliburton ninety five. I think I have a little bit ahead of these guys. But I certainly don't mind. I'm not going to ever argue if you want to play Lamelo and and Lillard here and just hope you get 130 or 140 out of both of them at, uh, to, out of them combined. I mean, um, but e- I mean everybody looks pretty good. The problem is, like they won't give Nurkic the run, and he was playing great against Jokic the other night. By the way, he was on a great path. He had like 20 at halftime, and he'd only played like I think like 11 minutes. <laughs> um, they just won't play the minutes, even in the, when they need bigs. But Charlotte is the worst team against bigs in the NBA. They've given up the most fantasy points by a long shot. And I think that uh, it's hard to not at least consider Nurkic in your mix. We're talking about these other guys. But, I mean, Nurkic, if they if for any reason, like, he's, like if he has 20 real-life points in the first quarter, which is really possible against this team, maybe that's how he stays on the court. But it's just frustrating because they want to play Eubanks. So then you get into, like, well, is Eubanks the guy we play – because I want to play a big here and Eubanks has been playing the, the the minutes just basically like almost like splitting them with Nurkic on certain nights. So it's a little tricky. Uh, I actually think that the, the way I would treat this game is, is the other pieces though. I, I like Washington and, and anytime Nurkic is, is not going to get all the minutes. I always like getting some Josh Hart because his rebound upside is so high. And that just basically means likely a double double for him, which immediately puts him at 30 and then anything else is a bonus. And I think Hart and PJ Washington are probably the guys I would use in this game to go with my game stack of the New Orleans indie game with maybe the one piece of value of Miami or one of the value guys we talked about earlier on today. But it's going to be four or five probably for me from uh, from Wash from in, uh, New Orleans indie, uh, one one or two from this this last game. Um, I, I think one from the Bulls and, uh, and Rockets, and then I think you get one from either the Miami value or Kevin Love, something like that is where I'm at. Maybe even Isaiah Stewart or Jalen Duran, Jaden Ivey, one of those guys to, to piece with these later games um, stacked. And I think this is a, it's a really good slate because every game I could make a, well, almost every game I could make a really good argument to stack. Um, and I don't think that, you know, you're, I think you can find ways to get off the board. I think everyone will flock to new Orleans, but getting some, you know, m- m- maybe that's an argument for why, why, why maybe we should re you know, revisit maybe a bulls rocket stack or something like that, uh, depending on where the, the new Orleans ownership is. But at first look, new Orleans and Indy does seem like the best game to stack for me. Let's, let's talk about Miami for just a minute. All right. So you have Bam out. And they're up against Gobert, right? So, 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 I'm looking at the center list for Miami, and and your Saban is out, Deadman is out, Hoslam, whatever. So you have Jovic and and, and Robinson, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you, you've been pretty good about the, the predictions and, and the suggestions of how Jovic would be used. Um, there was one time where everybody played him and, and you said it was terrible and he played like one fan, one minute or 10 minutes, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to get your opinion on him. They got to start one of these guys, if not maybe both of them. Um, are one of these guys going to be the play? And 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 yet on the other side, I mean, how how many rebounds is Gobert going to get in this game? Mm -hmm. You know, against against these Miami guys. Um, That's a good point. I mean, uh, so, uh, and any early opinion on 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 Miami? Big? I think they probably start Robinson, but whichever starts, he either Robinson or jo or Jovic will start, unless anybody else is out for Miami. Um, is my my guess, and I think both of them would be in play if they start. Jovic, when he was off the bench the other day, I, I honestly didn't understand why people were playing him. I was like, there's a, there's a really good chance he doesn't play a minute. Right. But if he starts, I think you can you can consider him. I still don't think he's going to – I don't think they'll start him, and I don't think he's going to play more than 20 minutes even if they do. I would prefer playing Robinson if they started him. And I do agree. Is Ty Smith big enough to play the five or no? That he can against other teams. I just don't think they would do that against Gobert because they would need some help rebounding. They, they already have some troubles with their rebounding anyway. They – you know, it's just hard for them to to rebound with Gobert with with the guy like Highsmith. I think you'd want to put a bigger body, which would likely be Robinson, in my opinion. But I'll tell we'll you that news earlier. I'll but... tell you something crazy. I mean, we 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 joke about this, but I was going to comment that 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 Udonis Haslam is questionable for this game. You, you know, you, you you joke, right? But 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 if Haslam were in fact available, he they might start him for eight minutes. You know what I mean? Which which would which which would cut into the projections of these other two dudes by a little right, bit, right? So, so uh, that, if, if they did start that, Haslam, the, that the Haslam news is kind of relevant, sort of. Yeah, if Haslam starts, uh, obviously you're not playing Haslam no matter what. No. But um, but uh, I do think that that I still think you could play uh, a, a, a speculative uh, Orlando Robinson. I think I would I would stay clear of Jokic, Jovic, because he's yeah. not really a true five anyway. So yeah, they, and and they were missing a lot more bodies. They have at least. They still have what 13 guys who are able to play tonight. So um yeah, um that's that's I, I don't know. It feels a little maybe it's a little bit thin, but I I think that Robinson, if he starts, would would not be thin. Um everything else would probably be a little bit thin because you have you have Zubach, you have Duran, you have Kessler, all all those reasonably priced centers that can get you 40. Um, whereas Orlando Robinson off the bench, even if he gets you 20 something, is that really good enough when the guys who are just 1800 more can get, you know, 20 more fantasy points, basically? Yeah. Um, for me, I guess to summarize that, you know, the, the New Orleans, if if both those guys are out, I mean, which it looks like they are, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to ignore that, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And if, if Gordon is out, I think Martin remains is going to be a good play again. So you, that that's, that's a game that's important. I am gonna. I'm definitely gonna play this 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 Charlotte thing, but but there is a difference between guys that are priced appropriately, which which Charlotte and the Portland guys are. You know what I mean? Like they're not like those guys are cheap. They just you know they just have upside. You know what I mean? Like they just they they just can score a lot of fantasy points when they get going. Where the New Orleans guys, I mean like like McCollum gets a legitimate you know actual bump, making him really cheap. You know, uh, with 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 Zion out. Um, and then the Miami, you'll probably I think you'll probably have to play somebody from there. I don't know exactly which one, but probably. And then um Paul George, you know, guys like that become worse plays when 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 other value opens up, I guess. That well, not that's I shouldn't say that. Um when guys like McCollum become much better plays. Mm -hmm. Um I guess McCollum and somebody from New Orleans with McCollum. Valanchunas, Halliburton, sure, that's that's a good way to start. Also, yeah, uh, I don't think I'll get to the Brooklyn, Cleveland, although it's tempting, right? It's tempting to to, to play a little bit of that. Yeah, um, yeah, it is kind of an annoying uh, slate to not be here, but I'll, I'll I'll play I'll play that's for sure. But I won't be it won't be it won't be my best. Let's put it that way. If any news comes in after like seven o'clock, we're gonna have problems. But we'll 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 see. Yeah, I, like my, my first my first look at a build, like I put like I'll just say it out loud, like McCollum, Murphy, Daniels, Sohan, Robinson, Halliburton, and then I'm gonna probably I would probably put one of the Bulls guys in, and then maybe Paul George or something like that. That's 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 sort of the way that the that, that, that the builds actually are are leading me. 
Um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna need the seven. I think at the end of the day, you're not gonna need the seven o'clock, or you're not almost not gonna. I shouldn't say you're not gonna want the seven o'clock because like the news is kind of in right on these late games. I mean, for now, yeah. I mean, yeah. you could sort of you'll sort of have an idea of what to do with New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Um, what a, I, I mean, we did talk about Chicago, um, but Kobe White, Dragic, those are probably my fringy ones. I think this on you and. Yeah. Sanyu and Sanyu is the safest of those guys, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, and you said you like Levine more than DeRozan there. Uh, yeah, it's close though for me. It's just a more it, the matchup seems to suit Levine better, but it doesn't mean that he's gonna. I mean, he's got to get hot shooting, and that's and and DeRozan is is more like if the game's really close. I actually like DeRozan in games that have like low totals where they're not up paced, and he he can just sort of go nuts or. Like that, you know, the matchup against the Knicks the other night was a great example where the Knicks actually have started playing better defense and aren't playing quite as fast and giving up a million points every night. So I really liked the I, I really liked the whole that whole that whole stack, but I liked I liked the DeRozan thing because those are the kind of games where down the stretch he's just going to get the ball every time, even though Levine was going off, he it was still DeRozan down the stretch. Right. Um, so that's what I'm looking at, and and I, I but again I think your core is going to be built around the New Orleans side of things. I love the Halliburton run back as a spend up. I love the Sohan play. I want to get one of the bulls in and I'm open to, to getting a little bulls rockets mini stack. But, uh, and, and you, you, by the way, you may not, even by the end of the day, even if Orlando Robinson starts, you still may not need to play him. You may not need that value because there's, there's some other spots that, that, you know, that not using anybody under five and under, under 4k can certainly be a, a good route to go today. Um, I think, I think I might end up playing Gobert. I don't know. We'll, we're gonna I like it. it. I, li I like that play, by the way. I mean, just, just on his own, it, I think that makes plenty of sense, uh, especially in that kind of a game. Uh, they also miss, you're going to get a lot of missed shots in that game too, just because like you said, the Miami thing so opens up Gobert's offensive rebounding, uh, especially if Kyle Anderson's out, not that it makes that big of a difference, but I, I like, like Gobert even a little bit better. The only thing to worry about with Gobert is that they're going to keep giving Nas Reed minute more and more minutes because he's just been really good when he's been on the court. So just keep him just, just remember with Gobert, if you have all of a sudden you're like, why is he only playing 26 minutes in this game? Maybe Nas Reed is taking over on the second unit and that's what they want to go with. So that's the one thing to worry about. And by the way, don't be surprised if Nas Reed and Gobert play some minutes together today. Uh, anyway. All right. Well, that's pretty much all we got. Uh, Sheets, anything else before we get out of here? I'm very sorry not to be here for live, guys. Happy to be. I'll be in Discord checking it out. So if you have any questions, I'll, I will be monitoring. I just won't be able to build my own lineups and do it in an effective way. So I don't want to put it up there. But, uh, you know, I'll be around to try and answer questions. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Good luck today, everybody. And uh, we'll hopefully, uh, hopefully somebody takes something down. Talk Bye to you guys later. Later.